on my right, in the red corner from Warwick, the golden boy of professional wrestling, Chris some cheers and thanks to booze there from Mark Rocco because he now holds as you know the heavy middleweight champion of the world and he has relinquished his British heavy middleweight title but he's uh, taking on a man in the light heavyweight class here Chris Adams he's put on a lot of weight since he left his shores and he's only back for a very short time because he leaves very shortly for America and Japan again Here we go for the first round of six five-minute rounds, two falls, two submissions or a knockout, and identifiable quite easily by Rocco's name down the side and their full wrestling gear, white boots of Mark Rocco. Oh, sorry, they both got white boots this time. So we get the knee pads of uh, Chris Adams. If we can't see the, the trunks that he's wearing, we'll be easily there for identification. Chris Adams with the plain red trunks and the heavy knee protectors. <laughs> Freddie Green, just reminding Rocco that he wants a little bit of uh, fair wrestling here, not to Rocco's usual stuff. Well, not usual, that's a bit unfair, but he does a little too often. If he gets it, he's doing no good at all. So he changes the figure four. Counter here with a couple of minutes to go. This first one. Rocco took that whip beautifully. And some more applause for that uh, very neat get out from the Irish whip. Caught the leg. Adam saw the leg coming, caught it. Almost made it, but not quite. Goes for the new kick, high one. And Mark Rocco complaining that that was a kick of the toe. It wasn't. The sole of the foot, perfectly legal. 
And the referee tells himself, one minute to go. Again, the side headlock by Adams. This time, not leaving the head quite so near to those opponents' arms. Body check, he won. Rocco comes back with that knee to the chin. Half a minute left. And this is only the first round of this fight. seconds to go, but uh, referee trying to get them to wrestle on, but the crowd shouted something he didn't like, so he stopped to argue with them. Well, look at them. The fellow up, which he apparently hasn't heard the bell, conveniently hasn't heard the bell, shall we say. And Chris Adams told to go back to his corner. The referee quite understands that that was a move after the bell, and we'll tell Rocco about it as he's doing now. Adams just back in his corner for a few seconds, and that's all he's got. Round two, five rounds to go, and no score here. And this final bout of the afternoon, Chris Adams, Warwick, versus Mark Rocco, Manchester. Rocco, the world heavy middleweight champion, and the stars on his chest. Slap. Knee up, correct. Head in there. Back elbow miss. And the double hand is missed out. And almost out on our table, but not quite. And the crowd's dreaming at Adams to finish it. much they want Chris Adams to win, as they apparently do. The crowd here at the Fairville Hall Croydon. They should remember that Rocco is fighting a man, a weight above him. He's giving away over his tongue here. speed, Adams operates those. Oh, missed on that, and Rocco just fell short, saw that coming, stepped short of it, and Adams in trouble from that fall. And Rocco will go for that left arm now. Part of the same move? Yes. Referee didn't like it, but he allowed it. It's a little bit late. Playing for the left arm still. And yes, gets a submission from that, from that weakened left arm, from that unfortunate fall just now. Rocco, the first fall in just two minutes, 30 seconds of round two. Ladies and gentlemen, in round two, the first submission of the contest goes to the main machine, Mark Rollable Rocco. And remember, as we said earlier, he is giving away over a stone, a stone and two pounds here, and the weight above the light heavyweights, Chris Adams. Second way, round three. Round three, four to go, and Rocco in the dark strip, now leading Chris Adams by one fall to nil. And Rocco, of course, will continue to go for that weakened left arm if he can. That caused the submission by Adams just now, and 
Rocco will try the same again. Got to step back, surely. Can't continue now. Before his man gets up. Too early. No allowed. Adams apparently just off the deck when that landed. By the hair. And Freddie Green, a very definite private warning as Adams gets back into the ring here. through the top two rocks, just as neatly. Oh, nicely turned, beautiful right arm move and a cross press to the side. Beautifully done, but was he in time? No, he wasn't. He wasn't in time, no fall. Or is he? Freddie Green trying to stop it. I'm not even sure from ringside here whether he's allowed that four or not, whether the three had been counted. No, it, it wasn't. Only two counted. Rocco doesn't like it. Uh, Adams doesn't like it, of course, but he doesn't complain. There was only two counted there, and that could have been the equalizer with another half second. Again for the left arm weakness. Back hammer from the top. He keeps following up late. Another reminder of Freddie Green. And the follow up, Monkey Climb. Beauty, beauty. Rocco slowing now a little bit. Two postings like that, but this time he gets the foot out in time and he's going to be in trouble here. But Adam saw it coming. And that could have been a really bad landing for Rocco there. Crutch hold by Adams. Slam. No follow down and so two legs. He could have tried the cross press there. Less than two minutes now in the third. Well, we all thought this was going to be the great bout of the afternoon, and it's certainly turning out to be that. Back elbow from the floor. And a third. It worked for him, right into the chin. Good, short, firm uppercut, forearm uppercut there, Rocco. And, and a public warning. Rocco receives a public warning. The referee following up too quick again. Mark Rocco finally delivers that public warning. He's been threatening for quite some time. Just a minute left. And a third. He tried to get the corner post with his foot, missed it, he went right through, and now uh, Rocco could be in trouble for that. Oh, that was a really nasty run. -up. Rocco certainly gave a continue there despite that, and a lovely, lovely stomp throw there over the back. 25 seconds to go. Adams waiting for him to get up so he can continue the good work. We'll have to hurry. Side head chance for Rocco. He comes back. He's got to hand it to this fellow. Further shoulder press. This could be the winner for Rocco if he gets it. Five seconds. Four, three, two. And he's too late. Well, wow. 
Referee finally unwinds him. And you've got to hand it to this fellow. He comes back. He's really tough, this man. Mean machine or no mean Second machine. Halfway through the bout, halfway through as we start round four. Rocco leading Chris Adams by one fall now. Gained in the second. But one public warning against him. Rocco in the down strip. Semi jab strangle hold now, Rocco. And Rocco does not want that equalizer to come as it nearly did in the last round. Pull on body check, Rocco. Goes for the semi jab strangle hold again. Nice. Oh, beautiful pose. Walked in too close, though. Watch hold, slam to Rocco. And the third round too late. Landed wrong from that little jump he made then. Doesn't look good for Adams the way he came down on that left foot there. Don't know whether it's the knee, but Rocco spotted it, you can be sure of that. And dishes out some more punishment against the Rocks for that left leg. It's the behind the knee, I think. Yes, yeah, just behind the knee above. Crutch hold and again a slam on the top rope. Or left knee hitting the top rope. Swords him again. it out and taking it from every angle really fast moving bout and if anybody thinks these wrestlers don't really get hurt don't try it believe me don't try it two rounds to go To, to beat the main machine. World title and all. Although, of course, Adams will never fight for the title unless he drops a, a lot of pounds. He's more likely to go for a light heavyweight belonging to Marty Jones. And the double hander on the way from the right. Didn't really work for him. His own leg slipped as he landed his man there. But Rocco pretty tired now. Thrown back 
and Rocco again lands in the back of his head first, but so does Adams, and it could be dangerous for Adams too here. Seven, and he stopped it, he stopped it. I think he stopped it, Adams, the back of his head. Didn't make the count, and it's one minute, 14 seconds, to round five. It looks like a technical knockout. Adams failing to beat the count, the winner, Mark Rollable Rocco. Now, ladies and gentlemen, can I have your appreciation for the loser, please? Chris Adams. So, a great, a great win there by Rocco, but an unfortunate finish for Chris Adams. He's always arguing about something and he's still going on. But from our point of view, that's it for this afternoon.